bedbugs. These enigmatic parasites found their way back into our beds after decades of peaceful sleep. Though they carry no disease or cause no serious physical harm, they evoke feelings of horror and disgust. Though they feed on our blood, it's our sleep they damage the most. So, where do they come from? How often do they evolve to use human blood as their preferred meal? Can we perhaps forecast which species will be colonizing us next? Their relation to humans is just one of the many fascinating stories about bedbug lives. Most species in the bedbug family associate with bats and birds. They use their host in very specific ways, invading their homes and sleeping quarters rather than their bodies. That means that studying bedbugs, you do not just go out and collect them like other insects. It took us 15 years to gather a representative number of bedbug species. Dodging bats and buffaloes in African caves, climbing cliffs in Southeast Asia or church towers in Slovakia, misnetting bats in the Middle East deserts or digging into San Martin burrows in East Hungary. But we made it, safe and sound. Our phylogenetic analysis firmly assigned bats as the ancestor host of the bedbug family, seemingly confirming what previous researchers believed. This would have been our conclusion too, if we had not attempted to estimate a date for the bedbug evolutionary tree. We used modern molecular dating tools and were lucky to include an early fossil bedbug. It appears that the earliest differentiation of bedbug taxa happened at least 115 million years ago. Bats, however, are believed to have first appeared 20 million years later. Clearly then, these events do not match up. So, what were the original hosts of bedbugs? There were already a number of bedbug species in the family Simicidae by the time bats first appeared on Earth. This means that not just one, but several lineages found a new host in the emerging wind insectivores. According to our phylogeny, the bedbug relation to bird hosts occurred even later. We identified at least three separate events where bedbugs switched from bats to birds. In one case, bedbugs have colonized species that nest individually, such as eagles, owls and parrots. In the other two cases, this involved using birds that live in colonies, such as swallows and swifts. It is possible that colonies of social vertebrates are able to offer a stable source of blood. Bats and colonial nesting birds also frequently use the same environment, such as caves and cliffs. This then could have been the place where bedbugs switched hosts relatively easily. But what lived in the caves before bats came? The ancestral host of bedbugs remains a mystery. Nevertheless, Caves were likely to be the environment where humans first got in touch with bedbugs. Our research challenges a popular hypothesis by Richard Ashford that human parasites may have speciated along with human species. To date, the only supporting evidence comes from headlice lineages that appear to have split at the same time as the split between Homo erectus and Homo sapiens. Three bedbug species are known to associate with humans. However, all three species are primarily parasites of bats. The common bedbug and the tropical bedbug diverge 46 million years ago, a long time before humans or even apes occurred. So when we started using caves as shelters, the bedbugs readily found us. Like bats, we are social animals. Many of our habits help the bedbugs to survive. Later, we built dwellings that bedbugs immediately appreciated as their new homes. Our analysis also predicts that a new bedbug species will become a human pest about every half a million years. Our cities are growing and we keep many kinds of pets and livestock. So with many new opportunities, it remains to be seen which bedbug species will be next to bite us.